What kind of bulldog is your bulldog? He's an English bulldog. Did you see this? The English bulldog that died. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. He was. It, he didn't. He was only like the world's ugliest dog for like a two like months, a few weeks, or yeah. was it two months? It was two months ago. He had. Uh, he was. He won the award, and uh, as the ugliest dog, and uh, and yeah, I read. That. I didn't get I into the that story. Seemed like that depressing. happened yesterday. I remember that happening, and I thought it was not, not that long ago. Yeah. It was, it was, that much time has passed, huh? Yep. So, yeah, so I guess they're going to have to look for another ugly dog. Zsa, now. Zsa. Does the runner-up dog get... The title? What's up, dog? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, try, I, I tried that joke on my I daughter think- the other day. <laughs> she, goes, she goes, I know, I think Pete and I got in here last night. <laughs> <laughs> like never mind uh she owned your ass on that one (laughs) no i I think they just wait until the next year goes and then they they you know find nominees and vote somebody else so wait the the runner-up doesn't fulfill the duties of the champion like in the the usa uh, miss america pageant or something like that Uh, what do they they make appearances if they do then yeah Maybe maybe they sat signed by you know you, a, if, a dog food company and then the other guy will have to make appearances. If you are the runner up in the ugliest dog contest, are you happy with the fact that you're runner up but you get to fulfill the duties? Like I always thought that was weird. Whenever Miss America pageant would do that thing where they'd say, okay, if you you know if if Miss America is unable to fulfill her duties, then you will assume the title of Miss America. And did that ever happen? Did it ever happen? And if it did, did they fully embrace fulfilling those duties, knowing that they were the second choice? You know, that's a good question. I mean, it's like it's like. But the, I've never paid any attention to the Miss America pageant after the the bikini or the the swimsuit competition, and that's usually when it's my uh, my key to get out. And now they're they've done away with it completely, so you're not going to watch any more of them. Um, but I mean, have you ever been like the second pick? Like the uh, the consolation. Well, I ran for vice president of ASB, and so it wasn't like that. I lost to the president. You I just, were just it was just a, not good enough. I to won. Run. I ru- you were not good enough to run for president. You knew the competition that you're up against. You're like, oh. no, it was James Andron. He was an idiot, and, and like, oh, I forget I could, who he beat. He was be another idiot, and I ended for, up becoming the president because James up- Andron got kicked out. Because he didn't do anything, and then his grades went bad because he would use ASB as an excuse to leave class, and so then he started failing all his classes, so they pulled him out, yeah. and I, they moved me up to I did. ASB president. That's what I did. My, my, I wasn't threatened by my, by my running mate. Well, I think by, what by, happened by, by was, president. well, you must have been because you brought this up. I think what happened, James, James and this other no, guy, I, I can't remember who it was. You, you're the one that brought it up. It was a school. slam dunk. You just asked me if there was anything that, uh, yeah. that I, and, and I, you know, that would be the, but I became the president because he yes. was kicked out. You were voted in as vice president. It's different in school. You yeah. voted, they vote a president and they vote a vice and president. Secretary it's and not like, stuff. you know, Donald Trump and Mike Pence running together on the same, on the same. Kitchen. Exactly. It's you. Yeah. Everybody you, knows how You have works. to deal with, with, you know, what, whatever you get. But I'm saying if you thought you were good enough to be president in the first place, why didn't you run for president in the first place as opposed to running? I wasn't going to run at all. I was talked into it by a couple of teachers and a couple of students that were friends because there was uh, so nobody said, running against the guy that I that I beat. I don't even remember who it was. So they said to you, they said, John Meehan. They said, hey, we think you're adequate. Why don't you run for vice president? And actually, not, that's not what they said at all. They said, you know what, Jeremy? I think you would do a great job, and, and I think, think you should run, and nobody's running against John Meehan, so why don't you run against second him? Second best for the job. And I beat him by a landslide. So landslide that son of a bitch. So you're the best, second that, best person That in, was in also the, the year. I, I got sunny a smile with Christy McLuhan in the, in, the, in the yearbook. Okay. So I was likable. And this was middle school. This was when this I was, was nice. This, this wasn't was, even high school. This was middle school. This was before I met you and became a terribly mean and grumpy person. I was actually a very nice person. Because you were, everything was rosy and you didn't look at the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation was... You didn't feel comfortable running for president. You don't want to go. No, all that in. wasn't at all. You Once again, you're trying. In. See, this is why I'm a grumpy person now because you twist things and make things, and then I get all worked up. But I'm not. It's not going to happen because I just came off vacation. I'm reset. See, when I, I was, relaxed. When I was in high school, my vice president, he he knew. He understood the the layout. I don't life. even know how you had the grades to run for ASB, I was a senior, knowing what kind of student you were. I was going were. in as a senior. He was going in as a junior. He knew that he had to pay his dues as the vice president in order to have the president role. His senior senior year we were all on the same page so when you got kicked off the basketball team for chewing 
And since tobacco is prohibited at high school, mm-hmm. they still let you run for president? I was sitting president at that time, and uh, it's, athletics had nothing to do with ASB. <laughs> Tonight it goes down the uh, front row tickets you still to ZZ answered Top. answered my question. What? What is your question? My question is, why not run for president? Because I, there was already two people running for president. So what? I wasn't even going to run had, for vice we, president. We I was eight, talked into it. I beat I beat seven other people in my school that ran for president. We did jungle <laughs> primary action. Okay. Well, you're much cooler than I am, then. Daniel Reluso, Reluso, Ru, Daniel, Ru, whatever what? his name. What? Is. Daniel Larusa. Larusa wasn't he Karate Kid? He was popular after well, he, he won well, at the Cobra. After, yeah. yeah, but before he was he was just he was a loser. Dumpy Daniel. <laughs> he couldn't he couldn't even win vice president. What a joke. <laughs> I bet you there were some real candidates that were running for your ASB presidency, and somehow you got through. Yeah, it killed Chad Wells, because <laughs> he really thought he was going to be like, change the world. And then I, I scooped in there, and I was like, yeah, I think I'll run for president. Chad's like, dude, come on, man. I was like, Chad, I like you. Nice guy, but come on. I'm going to run for president. I did a good job as president. I did an adequate job. I don't think I was the best president, but I think I did an adequate job. But the, at the end of the day, let's just remember: I beat out seven, and I did not. I did not settle for vice president. I went for the biggest office in the land. Let's be really clear: I don't even remember. I just know that I beat one person. I might have beaten two, but I. But it was definitely was not six others. So. So. Congratulations! At the second best, at the second best spot. <laughs> it's like what? Like why? Why? Hey, I went trying? down as the best ASB president in the history of Bethel Junior High School. Why? Why? I uh, created a field trip for anybody who had a GPA of three point five or higher every month to go to Mariners games, to go to museums, field trips every month, one day. And you could all you had to have was a three point five GPA. And you couldn't parlay that into a high school career. No, I was ASB? done. I was walked away. It was a mic drop. It was. It was it. It was. I mean, you could have drop said, them out. You could have said back in middle school. You know why I, I did it? Who sent you to the Mariners games? Be- I sent you to the Mariners games in eighth grade. The one reason I liked it too is the vice president got to do the morning announcements on the PA, and I was all about oh, that. the sound of your voice. Yeah, I okay. wanted to hear right. myself ringing right. through the halls. Okay, at least it was with Hooked purpose. Little, yeah, I mean, I don't know what Pence, Pence got is to hold a lot of girls' hands and a lot of a lot of I'm little still smooches trying to figure because out what of Mike that. Pence's job is. <laughs> Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.